Hey gang, how's it going? Chris Cards here with another Through the Mail Monday. Let's waste no time. I've got four returns for you today. This first one is coming in from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Let's check this out. Let's see who we've got. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It's already the middle of January. Can you believe it? Time flies. All right, Dick Stigman. There's a 62 tops Tribe Hill Trio card with Jim Perry and uh, Barry Latham. And his other 62 regular tops card, he looks super high. But I do not have that card. I have two of these 62 tops Tribe Hill Trio cards. Those two are actually sent off to Jim Perry. Barry Latham died in 2019, I believe. So can't get him, unfortunately. There's Dick Stigman once again. Trophy card for the collection. You guys know I'm trying to get as many of those trophy slash cup cards signed as possible. Man, they look sweet. I got to get his 59 sporting, uh, sporting News card as well. Those are awesome looking cards. So I'm trying to find one of those on eBay right now. And there you have it, guys. Dick Stigman, 3 of 3. Played for seven years, mostly with the Indians and the Twins and the Red Sox. This one hails from Santa Ana, California. Let's see who we've got in our second return of the day. Lots of cards in here. Looks like... 92 Donruss or 93 Donruss right there on top. All right, we got Chris Donalds. First round draft pick of the Mets way back in the day. 91, I do believe. Signed very nicely. There's his 92 tops card. There's some Fleer. This was probably the last year or so of collecting cards and actually buying cards. So got a lot of these 92, 93 cards. He went to the Marlins in the inaugural draft for the Florida Marlins. Finished up his career in about 2001, 2002. Didn't amount to a whole lot. He was actually named in the Mitchell Report in 2000, 2004 of buying HGH. So looks like at the end of his career there, he was trying to prolong it any way he could. It didn't quite work out. That's okay. I forgive you, Chris. Thank you for the signed Met cards. This return comes from St. Petersburg, Florida. And we have the card coming through the envelope. There we go. There's a little note. And there's my note. This was back when I was sending uh, post-it notes instead of index cards. Rich Garcia, umpire card. Umpire from 1974 to 1999 in the AL. He was part of the mass resignation of umpires back in, two, uh, what was it, 2000, I think. MLB accepted 22 of those resignations, so that kind of failed. So he hasn't umpired since then. Little controversy surrounding him. He's the one that called the Jeffrey Mayer home run ball in the playoffs in 1996. He's also the first base umpire in For the Love of the Game, that Kevin Costner movie. Also, he had some gambling problems. Had some problems paying off his gambling debt. Made a bunch of questionable calls as he was an MLB umpire consultant in the late 2000s and was subsequently fired. So, sorry to bring up the dirt, Rich Garcia, but I have to keep these umpire returns interesting for the audience so there's some things to think about. Here we go, guys. Last one from Carol Stream, Illinois. Fourth return of the day. And this will be the one and only 2005 Hall of Famer, Ryan Sandberg, who I've gotten before. Now he is $5 a card slash signature. There is his 83 Fleer rookie card. And there's 2001 Greats of the Game. Two awesome cards. His signature varies. It looks like this. This is probably the best I've seen it in a while. Sometimes it's super compact. Sometimes it's spread out nicely. This is this is spread out fairly good for him. So he's an awesome signer for five dollars a card for Hall of Famer. I think that's a great deal. I think I got that Fleer rookie card out of a rookie explosion box, but I don't remember. I know I got a Gwyn out of a rookie explosion box. I'm not sure if I got a Sandberg or not. Maybe I did. In fact, I think I did. I think my rookie card explosion box eight, I pulled that Sandberg in the woods. 260 Shore Acres Circle. I've had a few people ask me, how did I get Sandberg? Well, there you go, guys. That's how you get it. Through the Mail Monday in the books. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's returns. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I do this every single Monday. We check out returns every Monday. And we will continue to do so until people stop sending me back my requests. Hopefully that never happens. 
That's it, guys. Have a great week. I've got another video or two coming up this week. Wednesday will be my one-year anniversary video. I'm going to put that together pretty soon and post that on Wednesday, sort of a celebration and a look back at 2019 Chris Card's channel. Thanks for watching and, and doing all that you guys do. Really appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.